Hi and welcome to this third key area of success without stress. And here we're going to talk about mental calmness, which is really like the foundation of all your communication skills. You see, as we learn to communicate better, then the way in which to employ it is to do so from a state of mental calm. Now, why I say this is because if your mind is tied up in internal mental chatter with worries and anxieties or whatever, you'll be spending a hell of a lot of mental energy on that internal chatter. Whereas if you're operating from a state of mental calm, then all your awareness is focused outwards and you can be more aware of the people that you're speaking to, etc. So that any, uh, anything you say to them will be more apt to the situation because you've just got more mental resources behind it. So obviously to do this, um, and if we're employing skills like uh, building rapport or, you know, reframing, etc., we're using different language patterns, then we obviously need to have learned those language patterns and become fairly skilled with them. So there is a process of learning where you will, of course, go through a stage where you have to think on your feet very, very fast to use these patterns. But eventually, you'll get to a stage and you'll probably get there faster than you, you think. After you've used a pattern a few times, um, the mind is very, very good at learning and using them. And then at that stage, the best thing is not to interfere with it, but just stay relaxed in a conversation. Now, we also know that at work, um, if we start to get angry or, or upset in any way, then we're prone to outbursts and we regret, you know, what we've said in the past when we're, we're in the state of some emotion. So we also need mental calmness to make sure we don't fall into any of those traps. So in this section, we're going to go through um, a number of different areas. The first one really is what is mental calm? So to explain, you know, just go over that and understand what is a calm mind and what makes a calm mind. And then the second is um, worries and thoughts and how to clear your head of those worries so you can reach that state of a calmer mind in any situation really. The third is tricks on how to stay in that state of what we call peak performance, where you're totally aware of what's going on around you. There's no internal chatter, and yet you know you've got the confidence that you'll be able to use the language skills, both internally and externally, as you need. And then the final area is uh, a more advanced form of mental calmness, and that's actual uh, sitting meditation. So it's a very, very useful tool that if you can find the time to do once a day, will expand your ability to uh, reach that state of mental calmness throughout the day by really taking some time out during uh, each part of your day to get into a state of a higher state of, of mental calmness. Um, and this helps no doubt and there's hundreds of studies which show how meditation can help in health, emotional health, um, and virtually every area of life. So I will spend uh, some time also talking about formal meditation. And hopefully, uh, once you uh, go ahead and, and read and listen to these audios down below and um, see how, how they benefit your life. Thanks.